Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Hi, what can you tell me about the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute services? Using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute, you can provision and manage compute hosts. These managed compute hosts are called instances. After you launch an instance, you can access it securely from your computer, restart it, attach and detach volumes, and terminate it when you're done with it. Can you please tell me about instances? What are the characteristics? An instance is defined by its machine image and shape. A machine image is a virtual hard disk that has a specific operating system installed. A shape defines the number of CPUs, RAM, disk resources, and network resources available to an instance. What type of compute services does Oracle offer? Oracle has two compute offerings that promise high performance, elasticity, and security. Bare metal instances and virtual machine instances. Bare metal instances provide you complete control of the physical host, bare metal machine. These are fully isolated, single tenant environments where the only workload that's running is your workload. There are two main reasons to use bare metal instances. A bare metal instance is ideal for workloads that require uncompromising performance of bare metal servers without any overhead of virtualization from the hypervisor. It is also ideal for applications that demand stringent compliance and regulatory requirements. I've heard that bare metal servers offer choice regarding operating systems. Is that right? Yes, it offers a wide variety of pre-configured images as well as the option to bring your own custom image. It is ideal for both legacy and modern workloads. Is the bare metal instance equipped to handle all workloads, from web applications to big data? Yes, of course. You can customize the bare metal instance to suit specific functions. Standard instances can be used for a wide variety of high-performance and compute-intensive workloads, such as web servers, batch processing, and distributed analytics. High I.O. instances are configured with 12.8 terabytes of local NVMe storage and are ideal for applications that require tens or hundreds of thousands of low-latency IOPS, such as no SQL databases, clustered databases, and OLTP systems. Dense I.O. instances are configured with 28.8 terabytes of local NVMe storage and are ideal for extreme transactional workloads that work on large data sets and require low latency and high throughput, such as big data and high-performance compute or HPC applications. Alternately, if you need a certain amount of compute resource to run a workload, but you don't want to buy dedicated machines for that, you can use a virtual machine. Does a VM come in different shapes? Yes, there are two VM shapes, standard and dense I.O. A shape defines the number of Oracle Compute Units, or OCPUs, and the amount of RAM available for a VM. Each VM shape has a different number of processor cores, amount of memory, and disk configuration, so you can easily select a size that matches the needs of your application. Standard VM compute shapes are great for general-purpose workloads, providing a balance of cores, memory, and network resources. Dense I.O. VM compute shapes are backed by NVMe SSDs and are better suited for resource-intensive workloads, such as large databases and big data applications, like Apache Spark and Hadoop. When you select a shape for your VM, Consider the nature of applications that you'll deploy on the VM, the number of users that you expect to use the applications, and how you expect the load to scale in the future. Remember to also factor in the CPU and memory resources that will be consumed by the operating system running on the VM. I now have a fairly good idea about bare metal as well as virtual machines, and I think I am ready to start with an instance. How do I go about it? You can create a single instance using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Web Console. 
You need an administrator account in order to be able to create and manage instances. For access control, you can generate and assign an SSH key pair and add your instance to a security list. How much CPU and memory can I assign to an instance? The number of CPUs and RAM allocated to an instance are determined by the shape that you select while creating the instance. Do I have the option of using custom images? Yes, you can bring your own image to the platform and use it to launch instances. What can I install on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute instances? You can deploy any application, Oracle or third-party, that's supported on the operating system included in the machine image that you use to create the instance, subject to the licensing and support terms of the vendor of that application. And now let me show you how to create a compute instance. You will need an administrator account in order to create, configure, and launch your instance. Log in to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. On the Oracle Cloud Web Console, choose Compute, and within that, Instances. Click the Launch Instance button on the Instances page. Note that you can create an instance only within a predefined compartment. You will need to create a new compartment or choose from compartments that you have created earlier. The compartment is a way of collecting related cloud resources, so it helps with the governance of your overall cloud account. Enter the name for the instance and select from the options in each field. Oracle Bare Metal Cloud Services is hosted in regions and availability domains. A region is a localized geographic area. And an availability domain is one or more data centers located within a region. This is the operating system you want installed on the instance. You can choose from the various Oracle Linux or Windows options. You can also choose a custom image if you have already created one. A custom image is one that you have customized with your applications or configurations from the provided image or the image that you have brought to the platform. Here, we will pick a pre-configured OS image. Shape types that start with the VM are virtual machines. Shape types that begin with VM are bare metal instances. These are entire servers without a hypervisor installed that are vended to a customer. The VCN is a software-defined version of your traditional on-premise network in the cloud. It includes subnets, root tables, and gateways in which your instances run. You will need to have created a compartment and a VCN within it before you create the instance. Subnets are subdivisions within a VCN. Subnets act as a unit of configuration within the VCN. You can enter the IP, DNS, and SSH key details, as may be applicable. The public IP address is selected by default. You have the option of entering a private IP address, too. You have the option of using a previously generated SSH key from your local machine. You can now launch your instance. After a brief provisioning window, you will see that your bare metal instance is up and running. Upon clicking the instance, you can view all its details. From this page, you can stop, reboot, or even terminate the instance as required. To learn more, please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. You can sign up for a free trial and get started right away.